We are waiting to see if Governor Pritzker will sign a bill allowing non-U.S. citizens to become police officers. Federal law states that only citizens can serve as officers and deputies, but a bill that has passed the House and Senate would change that for work-eligible immigrants. Police officers here in Chicago and statewide have long been required to be citizens of the United States. With a sweep of his pen last week, Governor Pritzker changed that as Illinois will soon allow non-citizens who are eligible to become members of law enforcement upon completion of training. Filling those vacant jobs with non-citizens is a non-starter for former Chicago mayoral candidate Dr. Willie Wilson. I cannot go to China, no other country in the world, being a non-citizen and become a police officer. And I just think that's wrong. Dr. Wilson isn't willing to wait to see if the new law puts more boots on the ground. He's ready to take the legislation to court. I've talked to some lawyers already. Uh, if this go through, we'll have to, uh, have to appeal it. By the way, Illinois is not the first state to pass this kind of legislation in California, where they have nearly 200,000 DACA recipients. They passed a similar law earlier this year. Let them talk so they have a voice. A call for order during a heated meeting at Woodlawn's Apostolic Church of God. Who's helping me? The focus, this migrant shelter in the old Wadsworth Elementary School. I would ask you all to go out there, go out there at night, in the middle of the night, and see what goes on. What's going on, according to community members, is loitering, late night partying, littering, prostitution, and at least one fight between migrants and residents. It got a little heated, uh, things got, objects got thrown. But many of these residents say they no longer have any tolerance for the disruptive behavior by those seeking asylum here. It's making them feel unsafe. They disrespect us, yeah. they rob us, yeah. they harass us. And their patience yeah. is wearing thin. Let me say this, they got one more time to deal with it because otherwise next time they deal with it, they're going to deal with it from the streets. We're going to take over it. Nobody's going to be able to stop us from what we're going to do to them. All of the city officials here at this meeting promise that they are working for solutions to make the area around the shelter better for the neighborhood and consequences for those asylum seekers who are found to be breaking the rules or the law. But residents say they want to see something happen and something change immediately.